Welcome, sixth grade. So uh, we're moving on now. Uh, so we are on chapter three. Uh, so we're going to be learning about the uh, ancient Egyptians. All right, so our first lesson is about the geography of the Nile. Okay, Your notes for this lesson, what I would like you to do is kind of set this up in columns. All right, so we're going to have three different columns. All right. Okay, and each one of these is going to have anywhere between three to four points in them, all right? So you can make the boxes that you want to at home if you want, or you can just write out in bullet point, kind of really whatever you like to. But the main overall topic is the Nile, all right? And then that's going to go into three different categories, all right? And I don't want to spoil the surprise for you just quite yet. All right, here we go. All right, so the first grouping of them uh, is geography, all right? And the Nile has two sources, the Blue and White Nile, okay? Um, the two rivers meet in Sudan um, where they join together to become the Nile, all right? And this flows through deserts, mountains, and farmland, all right? Um, and the Nile forms this fertile delta near the Mediterranean Sea, which is where most of the farming took place. Um, interesting fact about the Nile is that it runs from the south to the north, okay? And one of the few rivers in the world that does this. All right, another, um, so the second of your groupings is communities. All right, so these are the communities that grew up along the Nile. Um, some of the first communities around 6,000 BCE, so over 8,000 years ago, uh, developed um, in what we call Nubia, okay? And they, are, they were basically hunting and fishing communities. Right, and we'll see why um, that is like that in a moment. Uh, the second thing is the farming um, started in Egypt and Nubia around 5,000 BCE, uh, in that you know in that delta region where all that beautiful rich farm soil is. Um, Upper Egypt had scattered farming villages um, that were built along the banks of the Nile. Okay, and our last one is trade. Uh, in trade. Um, ships could go up and down the Nile because it was wide enough and deep enough, but also there are different trade routes that intersected um, along the Nile as well that would go into the main towns and, and cut across <laughs> um, to get goods from other places as well. Um, some of the things that were traded, you know, gold, silver, uh, fine pottery, you know, cedar from uh, the Phoenicians uh, was traded there as well. All right, so here's our map, okay? Um, so here we see, all right, so there's Nubia, and here's Nubia, Lower Nubia, Upper Nubia. Upper Nubia is actually below nu Lower Nubia because, again, the Nile flows in this direction, all right, instead of most rivers flow from north to south, all right, or east to west or west to east, depending on elevation. Here, the higher elevations down here, you know, it's yellow, all right, is somewhere around... 1,600 to 6,500 feet. All right, notice there's more yellow here than there is down this way, okay? So that's important to remember. Um, but one of the main reasons that Nubians started off as fishing communities is we have these things which are called cataracts, all right? So here's the first cataract, second, third, all right, fourth, fifth, sixth, okay? these cataracts are like giant waterfalls. So basically they impede ships from moving up and down. All right, so all the boat traffic would actually be taking place uh, in this region here. This is where all the boats um, would be trading up and down the river. They would have boats in between the cataracts, but you couldn't get past the cataract, okay? Um, so that's why this is really known for its fishing, okay? And this is why this is known for its farming. Another thing you notice, look at the elevation, changes in elevation. All right, so over here, we have um, a light green, okay, and a darker green. So the lighter green is here in this area, and the darker green is down here. This darker green also represents more fertile land. All right, so as you see, the further down you go the Nile, the lower in elevation is, the more fertile soil that is deposited here as opposed to up here in the mountains where it cuts through the mountains. All right. So hopefully you took great notes on this. 
Um, if you have any questions, make sure you bring them to class, and we will continue to uh, work more on uh, discovering how the Nile uh, and its physical geography shaped uh, Egyptian history. Have a great day.